Hawk is a black Labrador retriever. He came to us from Pacific Assistance Dog Society in Burnaby, BC. Hawk was born on May 19th, 2010. And he came to us in about October of 2013. Hawk's original handlers were Sergeant Brett Hutt and Kathleen Funfer, who was a coordinator with the Victim Assistance Support Team. Hawk's gentle nature, his soft energy, and his love of everybody he met made him an exceptional candidate for an accredited facility dog. He always had the most lovely energy about him. Sweet, gentle, and easygoing no matter what type of scenario he was encountering. They were able to match the personality of the dog with the task that they were asked to perform. And uh, Hawk ended up being the perfect dog for the role. These dogs are being deployed in a range of dynamic scenarios, everything from a courthouse to a school setting to dealing with victims who are highly emotional. They had to have a special hearing to have Hawk be identified as a support person because there is no section under the criminal code that allows an animal to be a support. So they kind of fall in within the support person category. I was approached by Sergeant Hutt who had Hawk as a support dog and I happened to have a file where I had two small children who I thought uh, could benefit greatly from Hawk. And then subsequently, I think that was the first time in Canada that they got an order for a uh, dog to be a support person. It was uh, some judicial comfort that this was a resource that would, would be helpful to achieving a fair trial. The program took off, not only here, but all across uh, the country. Having uh, Hawk uh, accredited finally and being able to enter the courtroom, that's sort of a gift that Hawk and the Calgary Police Service have been able to give to people that are having to testify during these difficult situations. We still to this day get phone calls from various other jurisdictions looking for pointers on how about going to get a dog and how to get them in the court and what they should be looking for in terms of a dog. Well, I was first introduced to Hawk when we opened up the Child Advocacy Centre here in Calgary and his ability uh, to make children and families feel comfortable. These children felt safe and they were connecting with him. So I remember him with Sergeant Hutt and um, the team that they formed in those early days of establishing what he could do and the difference he could make. And it was wonderful to, to meet him and he was so friendly, but I wasn't sure how that would look for our patients. We're always wanting to be the ones there to be helping them. And in some instances, we acknowledge that as humans, that might not actually be what the patient needs. And what the patient needs is a dog like Hawk. He had the impact on our public visitors and on the students who come here, and we instantly fell in love with him. Hawk has been on display here at Youth Lane Calgary Police Interpretive Centre, partly because people are curious about him. He's the first trauma dog that Calgary Police has ever had. He's made history across Canada. He's obviously a trailblazer in terms of court support dogs uh, across Canada now. This is, this is the norm. To see the impact that he had on our team as well as our patient, knowing that we couldn't have gotten as far as we did without him there, it just wouldn't have happened. I think Hawk's proven his worth over and over again, both for uh, victims of crime and also just having uh, Hawk around the building there during times of trauma for our members, but also even from day to day. I think there isn't anybody who doesn't like running into Hawk. I'd like to thank Hawk for his all his years of service. He's the most chilled out lab I've ever met in my life. He deserves the break. <laughs> I wish Hawk the very best in retirement and if he ever goes to the dog park, let me know which one. I'm going to bring my black lab, River, and uh, River can uh, have a little, a little romp with Hawk. To see Hawk leave feels a little bit like the end of this era. We've been so blessed to have an amazing ambassador and a really perfect first impression of a victim services dog. Thank you, Hawk. I wish Hawk the happiest retirement ever. He deserves it. He's worked hard and I hope he, he can relax and know 
how many children and families he's helped and feel so proud of that legacy that he's left behind. Thank you so much, Hawk, for the hundreds and hundreds of people I know you've helped through your career. You have made such an impact for our patients here at the Sexual Assault Response Team. From the bottom of our hearts, from all of us here, we thank you so, so much. We couldn't have done a lot of these, th these cases without you. So thank you. We wish you the best in your retirement and lots of lazy days on the couch. Everyone here at YouthLink Calgary Police Interpreter Center are wishing Hawk the best retirement. He deserves lots of years full of treats and belly rubs and hugs and long runs out wherever he wants to go. Seven years service, who gets to retire after seven years service? But I guess if we calculate that into dog years, is that like 42 years? I guess he'll be collecting a big pension, but certainly a large and well-deserved pension. So wishing uh, Hawk all the best. Uh, you've, you've done a lot of great work and uh, it's time for you to be able to rest. No offense to the relationships we had, but I always joke that Hawk has been the best partner I've had in my 22 years with the Calgary Police Service. And he doesn't complain and he's just happy to be with me. So uh, one, of, one of the few I think that are happy to be with me over the years. So it's, it's actually great to have him ride shotgun beside me. And he's just happy to be going to work and getting in the car and just being around people. Thank you.